Hello and welcome. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to make this sailing boat logo in Photoshop CC. So let's jump in and get started. So here are the requirements for the logo. It's going to be used on some documents and it's got to be fit for purpose and be a simple rep drawing that combines lines and shaded shapes, represent the sailing boat and include the company name or ITSC and this is going to be worth three marks. So the software I'm going to use for this is Photoshop CC. Now, I'm going to create a new document. So I'm going to File and New. And I'm going to choose the width and the height. I'm going to choose 500 by 500 because I want it to be square. So I click Create. And I'm ready to get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is place some text on there for the logo. And I'm going to click there, and I've already chosen the font size, which is 120, because I want it quite big. And my font style, I'm going to keep it quite simple, as per the re requirements of the brief. So place that there, and I'm just going to click this tool here, Move Tool, just to place it um, center and down below. Now, I'm going to create the boat, so I'm going to use Shape Tools here. And I'm going to use a rectangle tool for the base. And I'm going to keep it relatively small like that, relatively narrow. And I'm going to go to fill. And I'm going to choose a solid color there, solid black. Okay. So now what I need to do is shape, change the shape of that to look like a sailing boat. So the tool I'm going to use is a direct selection tool. And I get that from here. If I hold my click on there, hold the mouse down, I can choose direct selection tool there with this arrow. Now, I'm going to click here till this remains blue. This handlebar remains blue, but the others go white. And I'm going to move that in like that, click and drag that in, click yes there to create my shape, click and drag that in to create my shape like that. So I'm going to push that right in like that. And it's created my shape now. Now the next thing I want to make is my sails. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to choose Rectangle Tool and I'm going to place it, I'm going to cover all that area there, like that. Now, I want this, this needs to have shading, so I'm going to use a shading there. I'm going to select Shading and what I need to do is shape this tool. So the tool I'm going to use to create the correct shape is a Delete Anchor Point tool. So I choose Delete Anchor Point Tool there. And I click in the top corner here, the top right hand corner. That's what I'm going to delete. So I click there, click Yes, and it creates a triangular shape. But I want a curve in here to represent the wind blowing the sails. So what I'm going to use for that is the Curvature Pen Tool, which is in the same area there. But this time I'm going to choose Curvature Pen Tool. And I'm going to go down to the bottom there and I'm going to push that in like that. I'm going to shape my sail so that it looks like the wind has caught it and it's been blown along. Like that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is create the other half of the sail. So I'm going to go back to Shapes. I'm going to choose Rectangle Tool. Going to place it approximately where I want it there. And remember, the tool I'm using here is a delete anchor point tool. I want the angle to be down here, so I'm going to delete this point here. Click yes to create the other half of the sail. Now, what I need to do is to create a mast down the middle and I'm just simply going to use the rectangle tool for that. 
I'm going to place a rectangle on there and I'm going to make that solid black. Click off there. And that is my completed logo. So what I need to do now is export. So I'm not going to just save it as a project. I actually need to export it. And I go to File and Export, Quick Export as PNG. Or you can choose Export as, and you've got more options for file types, like Vector, Bitmap, etc. But I'm going to export it as a PNG. And the requirements of the brief are that I give it a name, ITSC Logo. Click Save, like that. So that is my finished logo, which can then be imported into PowerPoints, Word documents. So let's go back and look at the requirements of the brief and see if we've met. Now I'm just going to insert my logo just to see if I've met the requirements of the brief. So you should be able to insert this logo quite easily there. There it is. I'm going to place that up in the corner like that. Just look at that. Simple drawing. Yes, sailing boat, definitely. Include the company name or ITSC, yeah. So I've got the lines and shaded shapes in there and it's quite simple. So I've met the requirements of the brief and that is three marks. So I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching the video. I'll put timestamps below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.